Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the situation for parabola. So kindly refer to the situation. So here we have the parabola. So there are certain steps we need to follow. Number one, we must have the standard form. So here we have the situation for the standard form. x minus h bracket square equals to 4p multiplied with y minus k. So that is x square. So another type, we have the situation y minus k bracket squared is equal to 4p multiplied with x minus h. So that is the y squared for the right-hand side. Second step, we have to determine or identify the vertex by comparing the question with the standard form given. So here, we will have the value of k and also the h, the coordinate hk. Same goes to the right-hand side. We must identify or determine the value of vertex for hk. Step number three. So kindly compare the situation given with the standard form. So here for the left hand side, we must find the value of P by comparing the 4P with the questions. Same goes to the right hand side. P is equal to, that is our main focus. Next, we have the basic shape for the left hand side. So by referring to the left hand side, we have X minus H bracket square equals to 4P multiplied with Y minus K. So the basic shape for the x square will be open up and open downwards. So if the p is greater than 0, so we will have the situation graph open upward. Then if we have the situation p less than 0, then the graph will be open downward for the left-hand side, which is the x square. Next, we move on with the right-hand side. Given the situation, which is the standard form, y minus k bracket squared equals to 4p multiplied with x minus h. So the situation for this graph, for the right-hand side, will be open towards the left and open towards the right. When we have the situation P less than 0, the graph will be open towards the left. And then if the P greater than 0, so we will have the situation open towards the right. So that is a situation. Another info that we can use or make use of the value of P would be, actually, the value of P is refers to the distance between the vertex and the focus. That is the function for value of P. Another function for the value of P is the distance between the vertex and the directrix. So basically, that is the situation. So where is the location for the focus? So for this type, for the left-hand side, this would be the focus. Then for the right-hand side, this will be the focus. Then for the directrix, we will further our discussion during the discussion of the example. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.